The database properties is a place you can go to to view statistical information about your database, like the size of it, who created it, when it was last modified. You can also customize it. You can add the title for the database, the subject, and some comments. And there's a couple of ways you can get to it to view it. One way where you can view it and make changes to it is within the database itself. Like here, just come up and click on the File tab. Go backstage. Info selected by default. So you can just come over here and it's right there. Go ahead and click on View and Edit Database Properties. And let's go from left to right. First of all, the General tab, the type, location, size of it, when it was created, modified, and accessed. Then the Summary tab, you can add the title, the subject, and I've added some of my own information here. Statistics, well, it's the same as the general, but in addition, if your IT person set this up on a network, you may be able to identify who last saved it, their name and revision number and so on. Let's go ahead and click on Contents. We just have Tables, Custom, like, okay, let's select one. It was checked by, come down below, type in your name, and click Add. That's it. Click OK, and it's saved. It just automatically does that. You don't get a Save button here anyway, so let's go ahead and close out. And I'll show that to you by opening it back up. But before we do that, another way to access the properties is that if you see the file, you can right click on it and go down to properties. And there you go, you got the general tab with the size and when it was created, modified and accessed. You have security, which is a little bit more detailed than what I care to cover in this training video. And then the details, well, the attributes shared with the owner. And then we have previous versions here, which you can learn more about that. Let me go back to the details because down below you can remove properties and personal information. So all that information we typed in properties or that you saw me type in with the author, like if I don't want to be the author anymore because I'm going to go ahead and forward this database on to somebody else and let them have at it. I mean, I don't want my personal information to go with that so somebody else can look at that and go, hey, who's the person behind this? I want to contact them because now they're in charge of it. They're the contact person. So you can go ahead and click on the link, opens it up, and it says you can remove the following properties from this file, and it lists them there. You can go ahead and say select all of them, and then click okie dokie. But if you're not sure what it's going to be removing, you can say, okay, go ahead and create a copy with all possible properties removed. So that way you have the original, and then the copy of it, that shows you what it removed. So let's go ahead and click cancel in any case. Let's close out of here and double click to open it up. Because remember, when you type something in the properties, go backstage to File, to Info, to View and Edit Database Properties, Custom tab, it automatically saves it. You don't have to hit the Save button. Just after you click OK, it's there. It's saved forever. Until you come back here and click on it and say, well, I don't want it there. Select it and delete it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.